All right, y'all. So, all right. After speaking with um, the sister of the... All right, so, so check this out. Uh, after speaking with the cousin and sister of... But you know you're not... All right, sorry, y'all. All right, so... All right, so after speaking with the sister and cousin of the mother of the two uh, ladies, uh, you know, uh, no, no, I wouldn't. I would. I would say everybody's mad at this point in time. Everybody's angry. Everybody's heightened. This is something that's uh, going on. I don't take offense to it at all. Um, the family should have a little privacy in this moment. Uh, and that's just what it is. Um, I think that uh, what we consider helping or we consider bringing awareness to the situation can also bring a lot of negativity, especially when you have uh, people and their comments and all that stuff going and, and, and being a factor. That's That can be a thing, you know? And so, we have to um, be mindful of that. And and so me, myself, as far as what this situation is, as far as what, the, what it is, when they ask me to come, they ask me to bring more awareness of the situation. Um, I've done that, I think. Um, and I believe that uh, the the rest has to be done by the professionals and, and they have to have their time to uh, heal and navigate what they need to do. So um, I do respect the family's wishes on that note. Uh, so, um, and that's just what it is. Is this turn right? Like, this is, oh, shit. Yeah, you got to turn right here. I need to turn right <laughs> So, um, and that's just on that. I don't take offense to anything, especially when somebody is doing something that I don't understand. Um, you, you're going to be mad at everybody. And everybody's going to have, because everybody has, see, this is what it is. And I don't blame them at them all. It's because there are people that are passing their opinions about, oh, this is this person's fault, this is that person's fault, and there's all this stuff like that and all these blames. But guess what? And like I've said, see, I've stated on my life that nobody on my life anyway or anything that I have anything to do with is going to shame the mother. You feel what I'm saying? That's not no, we're not blaming or shaming the mama at all. And so with that being said, we're not finna even do that. I'm gonna work you if you play with her. Now, the comments are going to say, oh, this is what they saying in the comments, and this is what they saying in the comments, and this is what they're going to bring back, and this is the, the, the stuff that's going on, but the people in the comments ain't there. And the people in the comments ain't going through what these people are going through. And so, as a human being, and having human decency, um, I elected to uh, not... What My work about this situation is, is, is done. If that's, that makes any sense to any of y'all. Like, I can't... Like, I, I mean, the awareness that I could bring is, is it. Um... By definition, so right now, as of right now, technically, by definition, they have not found the kids. That's by definition. That's what y'all wanted to know about. Uh, they are working on that now, verifying what they have seen with their equipment and all this other stuff that they have. Uh, I will make a post or something later on when it's been confirmed and corroborated that the kids have been found and the family wishes to talk and like release their statement about that. But other than that, that's what we are right now. Uh, there are still people out there. This family is going to be needing your prayers. Constantly pray without season is what the words say. We've heard from a lot of people throughout this ordeal. Um, and, and that's what it is. I am electing to give respect and reverence to the family and kind of not uh, whatever, whatever. If if they if this, if it's still ongoing tomorrow, I will still go back out there. Like my words said, I made a promise that if um, I was gonna go every day until the situation was amicably resolved and there was some type of closure, and I, I'm gonna keep that promise. Uh, but as far as like just kind of doing that, I think right now, as somebody who just left the scene, they are um, not officially found yet. That has not been made an announcement or not been corroborated. They are trying to make sure that what they are finding on their equipment is actually what they're looking for. Okay.
I was asked to be out there because nobody was paying attention to their story when I went. When they told me about it, I went. First of all, hey, hey, shake hey. What? First of all, I don't like her approach. You feel me? Because what? you did right by asking somebody who would know what was going on. You feel me? Lucky was up there all day with his boat and everything. You feel what I'm saying? So you went to answer questions at, that, that the people wanted to know. And the first thing she did was waiting for her moment to do some shit like that. That was disrespectful because she don't even know what was going on. You feel what I'm saying? And But you see, Lucky don't play like that. That's why he just said, I'm gone. He said we had to say, I'm gone. He not about to entertain nobody with that foolishness. You feel me? What's the difference in you and the news media? You feel me? We living in an era where they got people all around the world following you, Shaky. You feel me? So for the people who can't get our news, well, guess what? You on the ground keeping the people abreast of what's going on. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So, like, like she was rude. You was not rude. They got people in fucking Washington. They don't have the local news. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I can see if you were doing disrespectful stuff, the fucking people wanted to know. And I feel like if they didn't want to know, they wouldn't be on your live. You feel me? There's so many rumors going on out there. You are there on ground, and Lucky is the perfect person to tell y'all what the fuck was going on. You feel me? So let me tell you, I've been on I've been on live with Lucky all day on his FaceTime. You feel me? So what happened was nobody wanted to bring a boat. So Lucky brought one boat. The first boat, they wouldn't let him launch it. So he brought his other boat that they can pick up and put in the water. Now, you know Ty from the, um, the Raisin Cane people, right? Right, the, right. He got on Lucky Boat and used the, his cylinder. The, the Cajun, the Cajun Navy. The, Raisin, the Cajun Navy, right? So he got on Lucky Boat. When right. he got on Lucky Boat, he used his machine. And the machine read as if there were three bodies close together. You feel me? Let me clear this stuff. That's what that's why I won't tell everybody. I was on FaceTime with this man. So right. he was showing us what the machine was reading. When the machine read that of three human beings. They took that and gave that to the uh, officers that's out there now. You right. feel me? The officers saw that scan. When the officers saw that scan, that's when they went and got their machine that goes in the water. You feel me? The machine that Lucky them had was above the water, and it saw three things that looked like bodies that was maybe 20 to 30 feet. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, the rescue team out there now, they saw that, and they said, okay, well, we're going to take that image that y'all showed us and we're going to bring our machine and we're going to drop it in there. And that's when they took their boats and dropped the machine in there. So as we speak right now, that's why they got the lights on and everything. They're using that machine to look for those bodies. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why I don't like what she did because Lucky was on the scene. He was right there. In fact, if it wasn't for Lucky Boat, we wouldn't have never saw those three images. And you know that because they ain't have no fucking boats out there. I was out there you when they had, that was the earlier live I was on when they initially went into Lucky's boat with the paddles and went there and put the yes. sword in the, in, the, in, the, in the they put the, the green, green thing into the water. Correct. Uh, one of the, 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 the Cajun Navy guy put it in and said, well, these are the three images. They showed it to the police. The police didn't call and got more police to come and do what they did. Correct. So what they saw was things that imitate that will look, that will give them hope that that's the bodies. You feel right. me? So now they have the ma actual machine that goes down there. See, they got to send a machine before they send an actual human being, a scuba diver. You feel what I'm saying? And so that's why when I posted, I posted, I was letting y'all know what was going on, but every fucking body got an opinion. But anyway, I got on here, and I respect you from going live, and I respect you from going to ask Lucky, because you know what? Lucky been there since 8, 9 o'clock this morning. Lucky you feel me? And for her, yeah. you feel real? And for her to cut you off like that, that was disrespectful. Because guess what? If we wouldn't be going live and all that, nine times out of ten, she wouldn't fucking know what's going on. You feel me? A lot of people that was out there, Shake, as you know, got off of social media. The news not fucking out there doing, you feel what I'm saying? Come on, man. They, they doing too much. Then she going to try to blow my partner down. My partner was tired, exhausted. He ain't trying to hear that shit. So, okay, but let me say this. And it's just in her defense that this is an emotionally charged situation. Everybody's running high off of adrenaline and emotion. I don't think people think it clear, or whatever. I don't think I didn't take offense to it. I know Lucky really didn't because these people are dealing with the loss of kids in their family. I can right. only imagine what they're going through. I didn't take offense to it, and I will. I respectfully say I understand, baby. 
if there's anything that you want me to do, I will. Um, I know some of the comments were being vicious to the mother earlier, but I said on my live specifically, and I stand on this, if I find somebody saying something negative to the comment, I'm going to find them. I'm going to find out who they are, everything about them, and add them out for their filth because I don't agree with mother or victim or blame shaming anybody like that in the situation where it is now. If you don't have anything positive to say about the family right now, I don't like that on my life. I told him, bring somebody else live. Don't come over here with that because I'm going to find out who you is and you're going to wish that if you do have any good credit, I'm going to take it from you. If you have something in the bank, I'm going to get it out you. If you have any business, I'm going to find out who the science teacher was in the third grade and what you made on Yo, the fifth. Yeah, hey, I'm going to right back. Like, I'm about to say this last little piece on Shake It Live. I'm going to call you right back. My bad. So look, uh, Shaggy, before it gets sticky, I just want to shout you out from being out of date. And I want to shout my partner, Lucky Johnson, because I was there yesterday too, Buck. I just left. I, I left before you came, but I was there yesterday too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you for being there. You feel what I'm saying? And guess what? There's no right and there's no wrong in this, bro. You feel right. me? We we I'm... went out there with the right intentions. Now, like you say, some people are grieving or whatever, but we're not trying to make them grieve any more than what they're doing. You feel what I'm saying? We're trying to bring closure. We're trying to show support as well. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm a public to say thank you for going out there, especially thank, thank you for my home and Lucky Johnson before this get too sticky. And uh, I'll catch you out there for you out here tomorrow. Peace, baby. Right. Keep your head up. All right. All right. And go get your lick back. Let her run you off like that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> she, I don't think no. Right. All right. Yo, I got I to gotta go because Lucky got some information for me. Let me see what he got. All right. All right. Yeah, Lucky has been out there, y'all, for the, I ain't gonna lie. He's been out there. Uh, the people that have been out there, coming out there, and it's just a lot of people. You know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. He has definitely been out there. And we appreciate. I I really appreciate the community, the local people that have been doing stuff. I don't see the local leaders. I have yet to see them for real. Um, but as far as our local people that are out there, they have been out there. They have been doing their thing, and they have been bringing awareness to it. I think that's a very important thing. As far as the family is concerned, I don't. I don't, I'm not holding some offense or nothing. You have, right now is the emotional charge. Everybody feeling some type of way. I don't say no offense to it because I don't know how I feel for somebody in my family. I get mad at everybody in the world. So um, I definitely, definitely, uh, that's the information that y'all have. And that's the most up-to-date information I have. If there is any developments, I'll come and tell that to y'all um, from being just out here. I'm actually about to go in and decompress a little bit. Uh, but uh, if there is anything that comes up, I'll definitely let y'all know. Um, for the bottom of my heart, but that's the information that we have as of now. All right, and I will talk to y'all later. Love y'all.